Hi there V gang, it's a girl V Monty and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time coming through to my channel, I'd like to say thank you so much for coming through. Remember to like, subscribe and comment. And if you're a regular savvy, welcome back. Welcome to yet another episode on Sunday Special. In this episode, I'm going to be sharing with you the story as to how I came from working in a shoe shop to owning a shoe business. If you're interested in something like this, stay tuned for more. I'll be right back. So this story begins a couple of years ago i think it was like two three years ago and first of all side note i love shoes and if you watch the video of me trying on all the heeled shoes in my wardrobes that i will link up here you can attest to the fact that this sis loves shoes okay and not even like joking bit but like a lot i couldn't even actually finish all the heels because ish, i was tired putting on shoes and taking them off and filming and wearing and feel Hiring, so I couldn't even finish all of that, but I really 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 like shoes, right? I was a student in university and I was looking for extra money because you know the current the economic system in Zimbabwe just randomly changed and it affected a lot of people So not that my parents were not sending money they were but then I wanted more money for myself So then I found an opportunity to work in a shoe shop. It was actually really funny. I went into this shoe shop and the lady was actually really nice to me and she served me and my best friend and it was around the time of summer break she's like to me oh, are you looking for a job and i look at my best friend and i was like well it is summertime might as well then she's like yeah you can come and work in the shoe shop clean shoes take care of shoes and clean the shop all the good stuff and we'll pay you a specific amount of money so in the beginning i was excited and i was like yay let's do this they we're paying me at that time equivalent of 50 tl per day which I can't remember the conversion rate of that. It means I had to work from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., but it was intense. So after like two, three weeks, and we got along so well, I was like, yo, guys, I can't continue working from 8 to 5 for 50 TL. You have to increase my money. So because they liked me so much, they actually started paying me 200 TL per day, which is a lot of money was still is a lot of money and that was really good because now i was taking care of two shops and not one shop the men's shop and the women's shop basically i'd clean shoes organize shoes place them do you know like the deco in the front before you enter a shop that was my job to make sure that it was clean and nice i'd clean the windows clean the bathroom clean the floors of the shop basically i was like the cleaner the manager and everything so they had to increase my money by far because i was like okay if it's one thing for me to just Talk to customers when they come but i talk to customers i clean the place i manage the shops you guys are not here you need to pay me more money because i'm good at my job and your customers like me okay okay <laughs> so they read which was really beautiful it was really stressful so throughout the whole summer i was looking at the place the semester started that time i didn't go home so i made quite a bit of money whilst working in a shoe shop which is something that you can absolutely do to get some more money as a university student semester started and in the beginning i think first two three weeks i was going to work but then my timetable was so hectic let's say i have a lesson from 8 to 10 and then i'm free from 10 to 11 and then i have another lecture from 12 to 3 then i'm free from 3 to 4 and then I have another lecture from 5 to 8. So literally I had limited amount of time for me to be in the shop. So it just didn't make sense for me. It would take me an hour because the buses at school moved every single hour. So it would literally take me an hour to move from school to the shop and then from the shop to school. So it just it stopped making sense. So then I was like, ah, you know what guys, I absolutely love working here and I love the extra money that I'm getting and I love my job but maybe we could shift it to that days that I don't have lectures or maybe I have one lecture in the morning the weekends as well I can work so the money was still good because I was still getting some extra money so maybe working three times a week or four times a week depending with my timetable and what's happening but then things just got really stressful so I stopped working there so my passion for shoes has always been there I've always like different types different styles different like i'm a shoe girl you know heels flat shoes you name it i am your girl i am that girl even sneakers as well so 
an opportunity came for me to invest into a shoe business in fact i had an opportunity to come up with a business idea and i thought what exactly could i do as a side business as well because i was working at school after the shoe place i got a job in the university so i was working in university so what else can i do to make extra money for myself i always say this i'm always looking for money <laughs> I got an opportunity to invest into a business idea and the one thing that came up was shoes uh, lashes obviously shoes clothes bags all the good stuff my interest is very invested into fashion basically it was a beautiful opportunity for me to venture into my shoe business which i'm absolutely so proud of i am actually working on a website now and it's been growing and doing so well i'm just so grateful to god who gave me the opportunity to actually invest in something that i like because it's one thing to start a business it's another thing to start a business or to turn your passion into a business obviously i want to see this grow into my own label you know, my own designs and all that stuff and i'm getting there but i'm just really happy that god gave me the opportunity to actually pursue my passions and make money out of it and i've made so much money out of shoes which would seem to be something that you know everyone is doing it the market is saturated so why would you do something like that but where there's a will there's a way you know there's always that market which needs you to reach i know there's like really big companies there that are producing shoes and Many people are invested into buying a label that's already there, but you know, nothing is really stopping you from starting off. You could save money, you could work and save money, because usually the money that I was working for is the money that I used to invest in my business, which is absolutely beautiful. So yeah, I just also want to encourage someone, if you do have a passion, if you do have an idea of something that you want to do, never think that, oh, the market is saturated, everybody is doing it. Think of something different and you never know where it could take you. So I I literally ish, I'm obsessed with shoes so I thought of turning my obsession my passion into a business and it has really bloomed and blossomed and that's just the story I wanted to share with you if you do have a vision if you do have a dream if you do have a passion keep with it because at that point in time for you to ask me how exactly are you going to even start this shoe business is kind of like dude I don't know but I've just I've always wanted to do it I've always wanted to sell shoes I've always wanted to have my own shoe label I've always certain things I've always wanted wanted to do and the opportunity really came and i was like yes lord your servant is listening your servant is ready your servant is here let's do the thing i really hope this story just inspired someone and pushed someone to do something out of their comfort zone of course i could have sat back and be like hey what if what if it flops what if people don't buy my shoes what if what if what if but i mean you can't live your life based on what ifs you need to just put yourself out there and yeah you never know what can happen so that's just my story time today remember to like subscribe and comment and i will see you in my next upload i will also put the instagram tag for my shoe shop so that you guys can also check it out god bless you i will see you in my day 27 of my 30 day for month which is tomorrow bye